you recognize me from pictures around your house, but those are probably your family members. But today, I wanted to relate to you a very interesting experience I had recently. I was at this party, if you will, this habdabbery hoo-ha of slapping meat and so forth, of uh, brewskis and bratwurst and fireworks, when suddenly this obnoxious American saddled up to my coccyx, put his arm around my scapula, and called me a spotted dick. Well, I took offense to this, and I turned to him and I said, you, sir, are uncouth. At which point he called me a little bitch, so I, I ran home and I, I cried as I fantasized about Angela Lansborough. But in the midst of my post-court regurge, I had an epiphany. What if Americans don't fully understand what happened on July 4th. Well, let me tell you a little something about this interesting history. There was once, centuries ago, peace in this world. The colonies all lived together in happiness, and everyone turned to the warm bosom of Britannia to guide them in their way. The British people had brought all kinds of advancements to the four corners of the world, including sophisticated literature, a common language, the shoehorn, and the concept of not killing your young. Yes, ebony and ivory truly did exist in perfect harmony, but that all changed when an alien spacecraft approached the Earth and sent their bastard monkey manservant whore, Hubert Crow, down to Middle Earth. <laughs> Well, Hubert Crow's mission was to destroy this peaceful happiness that we had all created, and he was able to do this by convincing the Americans that they were somehow being taxed, when all we wanted was to trade so we could have money for more shoehorns, and we gave the Americans our delicious tea. So we decided to approach the Americans to make amends, and we said, Dear Americans, would you like some money? To which the Americans replied, No, fuck you, and we really don't like your tea. In fact, it's really bland, and fuck you, it's worse than most teas we've ever had out there. Well, next thing you know, Hubert led this revolution of sorts, going with a bunch of Americans onto a ship and throwing tea out into the sea, creating all of this pollution. Well, it destroyed fish hygiene for many years, and in fact, this was the worst, and remains today, the worst environmental history in British history. Well, the Americans proceeded to further their destruction, and they attacked our tea farms. They killed our dragons, and they committed sodomy on all of our children everywhere, and in general, they were just really rude and unneighborly. But that began to change. After three days, the Americans soon grew lazy of war, and they grew tired specifically of Hubert Crow, always spurring them on and leaving the milk in the refrigerator, but only leaving a little bit of milk so it's not really enough to pour a full glass of it. But of course, you don't want to throw it away and be wasteful, so you leave the milk in there, but nobody drinks it, and nobody buys a new gallon of milk, so nobody drinks milk for weeks at a time, and before you know it, you've got osteoporosis. Anyway, but soon there was a savior. Prince William of Britain led the rally, and he approached the Americans, and he said, Hey, dog, we've grown tired of this war as well. What say we end it? Why don't I offer you, for all your troubles, this conciliatory gesture? Here, have an only slightly used maxi pad. To which the Americans replied, Hurrah! You've saved us from all the wetness problems, and you've made us feel fresh again. Here, have Hubert Crow. He's really great. 
Well, of course, he wasn't great. In fact, Hubert Crow did many bad things to the British, much of which I won't speak of, but a few of them happened to be leaving the toilet seat up and always being stingy with the rent check and only paying for, like, maybe half of the phone bill when most of the minutes they used up. Anyway, well, eventually, Britannia decided to emancipate ourselves from both Hubert Crow and the Americans. We banished Hubert Crow to Australia, that prison island, where it was heard that he had anal course with a dingo out there, creating who we now know as the hateful taint, Russell Crowe. Hello, is this Russell Crowe? what we in Britain perceive as Independence Day. Tune in next time as we learn more about the mysteries of life and history in this world. And fuck you, Russell Crowe. I wish you had fallen off that mountain.